Hi everyone, this is Craig Palmer here. I'm the RMC Evaluations Coordinator. I'm going to take you guys through some components of the force test and the PPT uh, in the coming weeks and try to give you some tips and tricks uh, on the actual test day and the various components to improve your technique and improve your scores and your results. Uh, so today we're going to start with the 20 meter rushes. With the 20 meter rushes, very short sprint, a lot of change of direction, a lot of change of height of your center of gravity. And that's going to be the big factor on this test is how you guys control your center of gravity. With all the tests, that's going to be an important factor because there's a lot of technique to these tests, as well as using center of gravity to your advantage. Uh, I have a little diagram here. This is going to show you the different paths that someone who is efficient or someone who is inefficient will take. Uh, the green is going to be the path of someone who is going to typically be faster and the red will be the path of someone who is typically a bit slower. So you have the 0 meter mark, you have your 10 meter line and your 20 meter line here. Uh, at all times during this test, uh, you're pretty much going to be accelerating or decelerating. There's very little coasting at one speed. So your actual sprint speed is not a huge factor in this test. The big thing is that you can get your body moving horizontally pretty much the whole time you're, you're using that uh, center of gravity efficiently. Um, let's take you guys through the path of the, in, the, of the inefficient person. Someone who's not so good at this test is often going to stand up too tall. So right at the start, you're going to stand up, not covering horizontal distance. You're going vertical. Usually get leaning forward, go, you go all the way to the line, touch the line with your full center of gravity over top of the line. In this case, you have to back up in order to lower down, and then you repeat the same thing. You end up getting up too tall, go all the way across, have to back up, and then drop down to the ground. Someone who's super efficient at this test is actually going to have a very low center of gravity. So as soon as the go command is given, they're going to be covering that horizontal distance as they're rising. Before you even get to the end, they're going to be leaning back and lowering the center of gravity down. So you reach out with your foot so you can stop, lower your body to the ground, release your hands, and then you're going to repeat. You're going to be covering that horizontal distance as you guys are rising up vertically. Uh, same thing at the end, you'll stop and lean back, reach out with your foot to touch the line, lower to the ground, and then pivot your body and start the other direction. I'm going to show you guys a video on what this looks like. You'll be able to see some of the steps, but leaning in each direction, reaching out with your legs uh, to control that center of gravity is going to be what uh, saves you guys a lot of time, a lot more than just sprint speed. So check out the video. Go. So that's what it should look like. Try and stay low, use your center of gravity to your advantage, and that hopefully you can get uh, your best time that you've had to date. I'll see you guys next week for the sandbag lifts. Take care.